Madrid. We're going to Barcelona now, but we are getting to take a train. So very exciting. We are on the train now. We settled in and it's starting to get daylight here in Madrid, but we are now heading to Barcelona. Yeah. A lot of cool things to go to there, but this train was really hot. The shuttle. I'm sweating. I feel like I already stink. Fine. It feels a little more popular than Madrid. Yeah, kind of. That's why it seems like a lot more people walking around, like there's small streets. Yeah, the city here, the like downtown streets and back alleys are so cute. They have lots of like almost like gift shops, just pop up random. It's like door to door to door, a new one everywhere. Okay, we are at. We are at bar. <laughs> we are at bar Mano, getting some lunch, some food, some tapas, and we got that. Um, I had a different place planned for lunch, but they weren't open, so I kind of just scouted this place out. It's very cute, but we have some glasses of wine. And you, what did you order? Um, I got some salmon. <laughs> That looks delicious and it smells delicious. Good. <laughs> nice. What was that? The bomb, the bomb of Barcelona. The bomb of Barcelona. Oh, I think they said it's a potato with like meat in it, right? With what? Meat. Some kind of meat. Yeah, there's meat in it. And there's but it's a potato. Got some more tomato bread, kind of like what we had. Oh. <laughs> But I got a plant-based chicken Caesar salad. Different things in it, and I'm very excited to try it. You can do that if you're gonna be a vlogger. It's good. Mm -hmm. So, it's my first try for chicken salad, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. It has pearl in it, and it's crunchy. And then it has a little bit of sand. It's like a cashew cheese homemade here. Delicious. Very good. That's all I need. Perfect for lunch, too. Wow. Here's a little Christmas market we're going to now. This is like right outside of our hotel, too. Yeah. So it's very convenient. But we're walking back from our lunch place. Came across all this. Cathedral of Barcelona. Again, once across, right across from our hotel. Okay, so we have made it to our hotel in Barcelona, Hotel Cologne, Barcelona. And Chris is already going to the bathroom, but we have a very spacious room here. We have this huge mirror. For some reason, there's a little stand right here, but it's cute, okay? And got my outfit for the day already on, all of our luggage, but we have two love seats, a couch, we have a TV, a table, and a beautiful bed, along with this beautiful view of the cathedral, like, and a small balcony like 
how could we get better than this? This is absolutely beautiful. But we have finally made it into our room. And yeah, so we're gonna just get settled in since we just got here. And we're, we really don't know our exact plans yet, but we'll figure it out when the day, time comes. So we are in the La Sagrada Familia Basilia. This is the unfinished one that is here in Barcelona and it's already beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's so meticulous. Everything in here. We are ready for dinner. I have my black long dress on today. And we are going to a restaurant literally like a few steps out of our building. So it's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they made me a whole vegan platter for our tapas part. This is our sharing a sharing plate. Um we have cheese and ham and I don't know what that thing is on the tomato, some mushrooms, and then some kind of mushrooms. Hmm, that's good. That's good. Mm. So Chris got his like ice cream and then I said I was vegan and I was good but they actually came out with a little nice fruity sweet drink for me instead and it's delicious so dinner was amazing espresso time espresso time <laughs> Got some vegan gelato. I found at one of the places literally like really close to us. It was like five minute walk tops. And they had a lot of sorbet, but they also had a creamy, a creamier based one. And it's a cinnamon one. And it almost it, like if you have had cinnamon toast crunch, that's what it tastes like. But ice cream worm. And it's really good. <laughs> we are headed to our first extravaganza of the day. We're going. He spoiled the surprise first off, but we are going walking around the gothic district in Barcelona along with going on the sailboat and also doing a little helicopter like 10 minute ride which is insane to me but we are walking there now got breakfast yeah getting a little snack before our day begins we have 30 minutes I got a vanilla latte with Soy milk and Chris. I got a beignet with some uh, with a latte. Mm. Yeah. With a uh, caramel latte. What is that? It's um, a vanilla latte with soy milk. <laughs> The first thing is that they combine aesthetics with functionality. You, it's called Casa Milà. Milà is the name of the of the owner, but it's popularly known as La Pedrera. La Pedrera. So they say that he had a lot of time to observe nature, and everything in this building resembles the trees. You will see that the first floor is called Principal. And if you clean the, the first floor, it is the, actually the second floor. We're on our tour. Yeah. We're doing the walk around the bougie area here in Barcelona. Did you that it is the price for the best building of Barcelona? So it was not that big. Thank you. 
About to board our helicopter. <laughs> Very excited. We've got a cappuccino, mine was soy milk. It's more common here to have soy milk, so. And it's easier to say. Mm. Thank you. Got a salmon burger. I got this beet risotto. About to make a vegetarian pie. Very exciting. Okay, come on in here, guys. What? Today, every Sunday, today I will tell you secret about pie. Where are you guys from? Texas. 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 Okay. <laughs> but you have to remember that tonight the most important steps are gonna be number three, six, and nine. Sipping a little bit of kava, okay? Three, six, and nine, you take a little sip of kava. It's about cooking and eating, I am about music and drinking. <laughs> okay. If you have some questions about drinking and music, I'm your man. Cooking and eating for Nando. That's the rule number one of the choir club, you talk about the choir club, okay? So there you go, boys and girls, we're ready to rock the ball. Right, we go fast, number six, and about for five minutes or so. Later, for 10 seconds or so, and about 10 minutes of this, and you're gonna start off the... the oh. okay. Okay. Come on, Nick. Three. Okay. So, my, my. Now you guys go straight away with the leak, okay? One minute in each side. <laughs> you got it? Three. From the video, it's like... Uh, Fernando. Oh. 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 Two or three layers? Oh. Oh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, so yeah. Okay, now guys, we're gonna be doing the following because these leeks are cooked already. We just wanna sear it a little bit because later we're gonna put it in that oven and we're gonna cook it through. So now let's take the leeks out, let's put it back over there in the chopping board, and now you guys are gonna start doing your sofrito. So this is the most important part of paella. That's all. That's all. Okay, now to eat. Eat from 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 Eat